Blast me to Bermuda. It's time for the Mad Merlin's unboxing of Jyn Erso Commander Expansion by Fantasy Flight Games for Star Wars Legion. Hello everyone and welcome to this Mad Merlin's unboxing. I hope you're all doing well and I'm sorry I haven't come around with my latest project. I did run into a bit of problem when my mother decided to redecorate my bedroom, meaning my hobby room was off limits due to too much clutter. But I'm back on track for my Hero Quest project that will be coming shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, I am going to do a couple of unboxings for Star Wars Legion. So, what is Star Wars Legion? Star Wars Legion is a miniatures game by Fantasy Flight Games. There are currently two core sets available, one set for the Galactic Civil War and one set for the Clone Wars. It's your choice which side you take, but each of the four different armies has a huge range of miniatures and units to choose from, including many of the famous characters from the Star Wars lore, as well as generic units of troopers. So, here we go with the first of the unboxing of Jyn Erso, a commando expansion, who is the army leader. So, who is Jyn Erso? Jyn Erso was the daughter of Galen Erso, an imperial operative who worked on the first Death Star project. The rebels used Jin to get to her father in order to try and stop them from completing Death Star. It sadly failed, but it came to Jin and her team, along with Cassian Andor, to make a daring attack on Scarif to claim the Death Star plans to aid the Rebel Alliance in the defeat of the Empire. So, first off we have an instruction sheet for Jyn Erso. It's a nice easy model, only five components. Six if you count the two halves of the scarf. Now on the re rear, there's any rules that required that aren't fully explained, which is very handy. But it's always good to keep hold of these instructions. Next we have a baggie full of counters and cards for use in gameplay. And that's a sheep. <laughs> Joys are living on a farm. He's always fight. No. On the sheet of tokens, we have the order token, which has the commander insignia. We have six wound markers, one free and three ones. And we have a couple of other game markers. We have the suppression markers. The take aim, defense, and a few others for game purposes, which I've quite forgotten at the moment because it's been a while since I've played Star Wars Legion. Although, if anyone's interested, I will gladly do a few tutorial guides on how to play Star Wars Legion. Right, next up, we have her order cards. Each character, whether it's a leader or a special operative, will have a set of order cards that you can add to your command deck. You can pick and choose any of the cards that they can they have with, so you can have as many or as few commanders and operatives as you wish. But each card has a pip in the top left corner, or top right corner, should I say, these are the command 
nodes that allow you to identify who goes first and second in each round. So her first card here is Rebellious, which targets only herself. Gianurso gains charge once per round when the enemy unit at, an enemy unit at range 1 to 2 and in line of sight of Gianurso activates. Before it performs its rally step, Jin may gain a suppression token to either perform an attack against that unit or perform a free move action. Trust goes both ways, Jin and one trooper unit. Jin gains Inspire 2. When Jin Erso issues an order to another friendly trooper unit, that unit gains teamwork with Jin Erso. I'll cover teamwork in a minute. We'll go back to the instruction sheet for that. And her free pip card is Complete the Mission. Targeting free troopers, Jin Erso gains low profile. When a friendly trooper unit is issued an order, it may gain one suppression token. When a friendly trooper unit with a phase up order token activates during its activation, it cannot become panicked or suppressed. At the end of the unit's activation, it may remove one suppression token. And the teamwork rule. Teamwork, Jin Erso. While you are at range 1 to 2 of Jin Erso, when you or Jin Erso gains an aim or dodge token, the other unit gains a token of the same type. So it's very handy. Uh, next we have her profile card. Every unit, whether it's a character, a trooper, or a vehicle, has a character card to reference with all their rules, stats, and any weapons they have. So Jin has the quick thinking rule, which allows the gain one aim and dodge token. She has a danger sense four. You may choose not to remove your suppression tokens. While defending against a ranged attack, roll one extra defense dice for each suppression token you have, adding up to a total of four extra dice. She has the infiltrate rule. You may deploy anywhere beyond range three of all enemy units. She's nimble and a sharpshooter. So she has a health of six, which is the green icon, a suppression barrel of three, which means she can take three tokens before she becomes suppressed. Her defense is a white dice. And she has surge abilities for attack into critical and defense into defense. And here we have her move characteristic, which is two bars. Her weapon is the collapsible Tomfer, which has four black dice and a range of combat. She has four upgrades listed along the side, a comms ability, veteran ability, an equipment, and a weapon ability. On the other side, we have, again, a quick reference of keywords. This one is a suppressive keyword. After you perform an attack, the defender will gain an additional suppression token. And finally, each set comes with a number of upgrade cards. So on the reverse of each card, it shows a particular icon that it corresponds to. So Jin has one upgrade for each of her upgrade slots. Her weapon is a double-sided card, which we'll cover just now. So she has an A180 pistol configuration weapon which is a range 1 to 2, firing 2 reds and 1 white dice. Equipped only to Jin Erso. Gains pier has Pierce 1, while attacking you can cancel 1 defense result. And to reconfigure, you may recover. When you recover, you may flip this card. So she has a rifle configuration for the A180, which is range 1 to 3, has 2 black and 1 white dice. It is again equipped only to Jin Erso. Has Pierce 1 when attacking, cancel up to 1 shield result. And then again, when you recover, you may flip this card to reconfigure. She has the Strict Orders upgrade. When a friendly trooper unit with a face up order token activates during its rally step, it may remove one suppression token instead of rolling dice. She has Duck and Cover ability. While defending against a ranged attack during the applied dodge and cover step, you may gain one suppression token. 
and she also has recon intel. You gain scout one. After you deploy, you may make a speed one maneuver. That's all her card components. Now we'll flip to the aerial can for her model components. So, each set of Star Wars Legion contains a figure in multi part format. Each figure comes with a base, which is roughly 28 millimeters. And again, in the separate baggie are the components for the character or unit in question. So, first off, we have Jin's torso and legs. Amazing, nice, deep detail, including a holster for the blaster. A little bit of a mold line that needs cleaning up. But otherwise, fairly well done. We have her battle tonfer. The A180 blaster pistol. And her head. Really nice crisp detail. These are one of the, this is one of the older kits and is a hard resin plastic. Most of the newer stuff from the Clone Wars have a more softer plastic. You will of course require super glue to put this model together. So that was the Jin Erso Commander expansion for Star Wars Legion by Fantasy Flight Games. Final thoughts on this is it's another great card and figure set for the Star Wars Legion game. I think Jin Erso is a rather interesting character. She offers some unique playability for her army faction. And the model is a rather nice, crisply detailed figure. I picked this model up on eBay, where I managed to get it for a steal of nine pounds, uh, six pounds even, sorry. Her RRP is nine pounds, or twelve dollars fifty in the US. If you would like to get this or any other of the products you see on my channel. Please use my affiliate link and shop at Curtain Games, Devon's number one stop for everything geeky. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you want to help support the channel, there is social media links, my affiliate link for Curtain Games, and also a buy me a coffee link in the description down below if you'd like to donate towards seeing more mad content. Also, please like, comment, share and subscribe to hear from more in the future. So, this has been Merlin. I'm quite mad about painting. And a goodbye.